Hey y'all, welcome to Angel Queen's Triumph. I'm your host, Angel Queen. Excuse my voice, I have a cold. No doubt where I caught it from. Anyways, what I'm doing now, um, first let me give you a backup really quick. I've been given an extension of two extra weeks here at the shelter that I'm at. And so because of that, I thought I would go ahead, now that I have my own bathroom, for the time being, um, I would do my 15A sample um, kit of reversal. I started it yesterday, and um, hopefully you'll be able to see here. I have breakout here, here, and along the jawline here. But um, prior to using this for one day, because I just only used it last night, and you're supposed to start it at night. So I used the Refreshing Gel Cleanser. And this is specifically for oily skin, sensitive skin. And the Lightweight Moisturizing Lotion. So I only used it last night. And I'll be doing the 15-day complete um, trial as long as nothing adverse happens to my face. I use it in conjunction with my... Um, spin brush, this particular one here, not the charcoal because I do not want anything um, adding to it, you know, in any kind of way. I just want to see what this kit specifically can do. Now, I do have two of these kits. The first one did not arrive in time um, like it was supposed to. I called, they sent me a second one, and then the other one arrived eventually. So I ended up with two kits, so 30 day supply, but I'm only going to do the 15 days for now to see what happens. And as long as there's no adverse side effects, I'll continue it all the way through the 15 days. My face has not been washed, I just came out of the shower. But um, prior to doing this yesterday, for the last seven days, um, I have been using micellar water to just wash my face with. Um, I've been using my Believe Beauty um, Toning Mist, my Ambi Fade Cream, Oily Skin, and my three serums, Tree of Life, Vitamin C, Retinol, and Hydrolonic Acid. Now that's what I was using on my face along with just washing it with my um, cloth and plain water in the shower. You guys know already that I soak my cloths in alcohol peroxide water every time after my showers so that they're all always sanitized before I use them at all. So that's what I had done before I did this reversal. Now for the full day, once again, I did not wash my face with anything I did not put on any serums or any moisturizers. So from last night till now, my face has only had on it the reversal lightweight lotion, uh, moisturizing lotion. So I'm about to wash my face again using the cleansing gel. And I keep everything from drying up by just putting it in Ziploc bag here. So I'm about to do that. I do not use hot water or cold water on my face. It's just it's warm water temperature because um, hot water dries out your face. Cold water closes up and tightens up all your pores. I want this to be able to penetrate. I always put a little piece size as it skates for the gel on the actual brush and put shape off that and then I have the piece of gel. Oh, I'm bigger than this job. My face is bigger than this. <laughs> they were in my head anyway. Alright, so there we go. While I'm doing this, um, quick update, my mouth is completely healed, all that salt water peroxide on the cotton balls did its job.
So I still have not been able to go to the dentist and have them do the work yet. So I'm still waiting to do that because you can't go in there when you're sick. Now, a female in here has COVID, and this is the second time she's had it. But I believe I caught my cold from some sick children that are in here. Their mother was not making them wash their hands before going in the kitchen and touching things. And you have to eat in the common area where they also used to sit. Or should I say at the common diamond dining table. But they all eat with it there and eat their food and whatnot. And I do believe, and I know she's sick. I've heard her coughing and hacking and all that. So when you have a cold, you're still allowed to be in the common area. When you have COVID, they quarantine you. Like they're quarantining the female that's right across the street. My problem with that is though. When you have it, before you know you have it, you're exposing everybody to it until you have the test. And that's where my issue comes in. I know I don't have it. I took the test, although I don't trust the test that I took because it's a year old. And it's, um, and it's the first test, so... I'll have to pick up the next one in three days. But my symptoms are not COVID like, not even flu like, they're just cold. Like running on, you know, sniffling, and coughing with some phlegm, and that's it. No shortness of breath. And with my problem with my um, lungs, COVID would definitely do me in if I had it. Not necessarily kill me, but it definitely, not to say that it wouldn't, but it would definitely do me. Now, in this cup here, I have alcohol, water, and peroxide. And after using the spin brush, I just put that in there, put that in there. Now, let's clean my face off with some water and then pat it dry. I will say that yesterday, even after the moisturizer, my face felt very tight and dry. And I've heard people say that before. But I'm going to keep going. Because it didn't stay that way. Being that I have severely oily skin. My eyelids, my chin. Of course, the T's all, all around by my ears, sometimes in my ears, and definitely my neck. Now, we'll just pow, pow, towel pat that dry. And as you see, I don't pop these white heads. I'm letting them stay because I want to see what this does, I think I have, yeah, I have one on my forehead here. So, don't want any more scarring, and therefore I stopped popping my pimples a long time ago. Now, for this part, I do use um, my spin brush with the, let me put this away first, with this, um, let me show you guys, hold on just a second, please forgive me, one moment. Uh, I use this one here, the bobbles. I do not use the sponge one that I have because I feel that might absorb all of the product. And um, if you guys have ever seen me on my other channel, I do not rub stuff into my face. I pat it so that I don't lose the product in my fingers. 
So I put it on my fingers like so. This is definitely more than a dime size, but it requires a dime size. And I pat it all over my face. Not rub. And you're supposed to use this on your neck as well. So if you see me with the spin brush, I did my neck. I don't do my decollete with this, but if I was using my other serums and my other facial products, I would also do my decollete. All right. And you see, I leave it like so. It will absorb into my skin, but it is padded all around. Once it goes away, I know it's in my skin and not on my fingertips. The fade cream started working, of course, because I have a lot of dark pigmentation, especially underneath my jaw here, um, from fucking hair, all that kind of stuff. Now, after I let this sink in some, then I go and just massage my face in an upward motion with this. So we're gonna put it on. And in the meantime, in between time, while we wait, they all have their own caps to keep them sanitized after I sanitize them. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna leave that sitting there. We're gonna put this in here so it doesn't dry up. Close that up. And today is actually day two, not day one. Yesterday when I did this, the video was really, really sucky. And the quality of sound was very, very bad. So, while we wait for that, there's something else I do. Let me get some tissue to wipe up this water really quick. That I don't know if you guys have ever used this particular product or a product similar to it, but it is the Activated Charcoal Teeth Whitening Powder. This stuff is very messy, so it's best to try to use it. It's very fine powder, as you can probably see. It's very fine powder, so you, you see it how it blows around, even when it just shifts a little? So you want to try to keep it contained by using it directly over the sink. It comes with its own bamboo brush. You just sweat the brush and now have to brush for a minute. So I'm going to pause and come back. And that'll be time to massage my face. So I'll be right back after I brush my teeth. Okay, we're back. I'm done brushing my teeth, and now we are going to use a spin brush. Come in close so you can see that the product is melting away in my face. So, upward motion. And it's just a little massage for my face, really. Not to put the product on. all I do. That is the whole facial. So it's not a lot of work. I hope it gets rid of this double chin and these 
whatever these pouches are behind here. I guess this is the ready tray for mom. Mom has that. She not only has jaws, but she has this area here, like a pocket of fat, looking like a chipmunk with food in your mouth. So you see, just because I'm in the shelter does not mean I can't pamp myself a tad bit. And believe it or not, doing this area like this opens up my sinuses too. Not that I'm using it for that, but it just does. And that's it, guys. That's it for my whole facial. I'm using the reversal. So now we'll take everything, get sucked into the water here to sanitize. And that's that. Hope you guys like, like this. <laughs> Sorry. I hope you guys like this video. Please like, share, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.